Okay. Shall we move to the third question now? Okay. Shall we move to the third one? Find the minimum and maximum of the following array. Okay. You have to find the minimum value and the maximum value of the following array. Okay. There should be an array. How many elements in there? Tell me. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. There are 10 elements. Okay. There should be 10 elements. According to this 10 element, you can get the minimum and the multiple of the following array. You can get the minimum of the maximum value of the array. Okay. How to get this one? First of all, you have to declare an array. There should be have to declare the array. Ne? There should be have to declare the array. How to declare array? How to declare array? There should be, first of all, there should be declare the array. Okay. Array values. There should be declare the array values. How to declare this array? Tell me. How to declare that one? There's array. Array value. We have to declare that one. Okay. There should be 10 elements. Okay. So, I take it as an integer number array. Likewise, integer num array. There are how many elements? There are 10 elements. Okay. There are 10 elements. What are the elements? Tell me. What are the elements? I can declare them. What are the elements in the array? It should be 3. There should be 3, 2, 0, and tell me 5, 6, 5, 6, 4, 9, 7, 8, 1. These are the elements. I declare the array and put semicolon. I wanted to get the what? <coughs> I wanted to get the minimum value as well as the maximum value. I wanted to get maximum value as well as the minimum value. I have to run all, I have to check all these elements. Okay. I have to check all these elements. So in the beginning, I take maximum as the smallest element. And if there are uh, greater than minimum, larger than zero, you can put it at its maximum. After that check, uh, there if there are another variable larger than it, you can put it at its maximum. Another variable larger than is you can put it as the variable uh, maximum. Finally, the biggest value we can check it by looking by one by one and take it, it take it as the maximum value. Okay, we have to check all the elements one by one, but in the beginning it should be the uh, lowest value, and you can check a uh, uh, little bit, little bit, little bit. After that, you can get the Check the all the elements, okay? By that way, when I put the window, I can hit the It was a check the Ekahambuna, we are maximum min. It was decadiba, we are the maximum min. It was tuna. I have a heba, I make a lame. Now we have a kang, him a check cracker and a common element. Likewise, you can get the minimum also. In the beginning, minimum can be little bit higher value. I take it as 100. You can take it as a 10. Likewise, you can take in any value there, 20, anything, okay? In the beginning, it should be 100. If I take the less than 100 value, you can take the, it as the uh, minimum value. If I take another one less than it, you can take it as the minimum value. Likewise, you can get the output there, okay? Understand that point? Finally, there should be display, what? There should be display, Minimum and the maximum there. There should be displayed the maximum value and the minimum value. I put to see out for display maximum and the minimum. There should be the scenario. So we have to take passing to what? There should be passing to functions for taking finding they have to pass in two function for find maximum and the minimum i rename it as find max function there should be find max function for taking the maximum there there should be find max function to take in the maximum there it should be depend on what 
tell me it should be depend on integer maximum value. I pass in this it in the main function. There should be integer depend on integer maximum value. And it should be depend on the this array. Actually, it should be depend on the array. Ne? And it should be depend on the array size. We have to check all the elements in the array. So it should be depend on the array size also. And there should be a scope for this find max function. Okay. I create the find max function. There should be three variables depend on this find max function should be depend on these three variables. What are the variables? Integer max function, integer num value, and integer size. So I create a for loop there. Okay. I create a for loop for passing this function. So there should be check all 10 elements. There should be check all 10 elements. There should be checks 10 elements. So in the beginning, I take it as a A, A O I, anything. Okay. I take this and A, it should be. Uh, Starting from zero, it should be starting from zero and it should be less than 10 because there are 10 elements and it should be increment by one by one. Check all the elements, so it should be increment by one by one. So there should be another scope for this follow. Okay, we follow up together this copy at the only so we have to take another curly bracket for it. So we now we can check it is if it is maximum or not we have to check if it is maximum or not we have to check max should be what max should be less than for number variable there are it should be increment by one by one number a a key and variable like a checker of an un bindu in a dahedako vadi with the beagi variable like a cohoban. There should be if condition it should be depend on number a maximum value, it should be depend on number a. And finally, there should be passing this value. Max should be equal for what? Max should be equal for number array A. Number A there. This is actually what happening. Okay. Max should be equal for number array A. This is actually what happened. Max should be equal for number array A. There should be, finally, there should be return this value. Return maximum value there. Okay. This is actually happening. I will explain again. This I create a uh, function for find the maximum value there. I have created a function for create uh, find the maximum value. Here. It should be depend on three variables. What are the variables? Integer max value, integer number array, and also the size of the array. Okay. I create the follow up there. The follow up is starting from zero. It uh, should be the, uh, up to 10. Okay. There should be increment one by one. Okay. And if I take the maximum value in the beginning, maximum value is less than number array. You can create the, this the maximum value. Otherwise, you have to check one by one. Okay. After that, you get the maximum value. Now you can return the maximum value. Okay. If you get the maximum value, you can return the maximum value. You can do it same thing for the what? Find minimum value there. You can also get same thing for find minimum value there. So I create another function for find minimum value. It should be depend on minimum value and number array and as, or, as well as the what? As well as this array size. So there should be a follow. There should be check all the values. So there should be follow like uh, previously, and you can take the minimum value. It should be otherwise, no. It should be goes other way. It should we have to check. It is less than not. It should be greater than no number. If it is working like it, it should be the minimum value. 
ලෝකෝ නොත් එහෙම නම් බෑ රේ එකට වඩා මොකද ඉතින් මේ දැන් තියෙන වැලියු එකට වඩා නම් බෑ රේ එකක් ලෝකෝ නොත් එහෙම දැන් තියෙන එක කියලා තමයි චූටියක් කියලා it should be the minimum value okay that's happily finally there should be the return minimum value finally there should be the return minimum value that's happily actually in the fine min method now i create two functions what are two function first of all there should be i create the, this one fine max function after that i create the fine min function now you have to overload this two function so i run in these two function in the beginning like before i pass in these two function i create fine max function there okay it should be depend on integer max integer number array and integer size there and also i create the fine min function there no another function for uh, taking the minimum value i create fine min function there okay i create fine min function there so another function i create fine min function there so you can get the fine minimum function there okay now i pass in two values there okay now i pass in two values and function function so finally you have to get the c out function it should be the i take it as a, the maximum value the maximum is should be equal to what i take it like this okay it should be equal to what you can create one can concatenate this c out function it should be depend on this fine max function no it should be depend on fine max function there should be passing three variables in the fine max function first of all integer max function it should be equal for zero and what is the there should be depend on the number array so there should be number array and there should be 10 elements in the array so we have to pass it three variables what are the variables in the beginning it should be equal to zero and it should be depend on number array and it should be there should be 10 elements and finally you can pass uh, you can take a new line function there also okay you can take the new line function there this is actually happening there see out function and you can take the same thing for what minimum value i copy this one you can take the same thing for minimum value the minimum is it should be find mean function no? it should be depend on find mean function it should be in the beginning it should be what 100 it should be number array and it should be 10 element there this is actually happening there okay this is what happened in there what should be happened there if i run this one okay good 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 there are no errors now you can pass in the final output the maximum should be nine and minimum should be zero likewise you can get it easily understand that point you can get it easily You can get like this, okay? Okay, I declare two variables for find max and the find mix mean, okay? There should be a follow because there should be how to check 10 elements. Okay. So, otherwise, also there should be a follow for min variable because, like uh, before, there should be checked 10 elements. So, after that, you can overload this two function. You can pass in this two function. And finally, you can take in C out function for get the output by using that. Okay. This is actually what happening. Now, you can do this.